நமஸ்தி ஸ்வாகத்தம் வணக்கம் அண்ட் வணசேவ குட் ஈவினிங் ஃப்ரம் பாண்டிச்சேரி இந்தியா வி ஆர் கேதரிங் டு பர்ஃபார்ம் டுகெதர் தி சிங்கனைஸ்ட் குளோபல் ப்ரேயர் எ வெரி பியூட்டிஃபுல் ஹார்ட்ஃபுல் இனிஷியேட்டிவ் ஆஃப் தி இண்டியன் யோகா அசோசியேஷன் அண்ட் ஐ ஆம் சோ கிரேட்ஃபுல் டு சோ மெனி ஆஃப் யூ who for the past two weeks have been morning and night joining me on this wonderful platform of coming together in spirit we may not be able to physically be in the same place at the same time but in spirit we can be every place at the same time and through the heart through that mindful heart and the heartful mind we are connecting across continents I have Laura from Spain, I have Susie from USA, Kim from USA, I have Balaji from India, I have so many of you from different parts of the world and we are all coming together. Isn't that wonderful? That is yoga. Yoga is the coming together of each and every one of us. Each and every one of us is a drop in the big ocean. Each and every one of us is a reflection of the divine. Let us start off with the Brahmari. Join me for 27 rounds of the Brahmari training. Hmm.
Enjoy the deep contemplative, harmonious sense of wholesomeness percolating into each and every one of your trillions of cells. A beautiful symphony orchestra made up of all those trillions of cells vibrating in unison. A sense of sukham, ease, saukyam, balance, swastyam, wellness, purnam, wholesomeness, yogam, cohesiveness, and anandam, blissfulness, manifesting from within. When we have a sense of santosha or contentment manifesting out of such a practice, automatically anuttama sukalabha, unparalleled sense of ease, leading to a state of blissfulness, paramanandam manifests from within, enabling each and every part of our existence, the physical, the functional, the psychological, the intellectual, and the universal to come together. The gross, the subtle, and the causal layers of our existence all coming together in a harmonious state of balance, samatvam, which is what yoga is all about. A beautiful sense of shantam, a peacefulness manifesting throughout each and every component of who we are. Begin to move your fingers a bit and then rubbing your palms together, generating a nice warmth. Placing the warm palms over your eyes, the forehead and the head, the Ramari, especially over the past two weeks, we have been religiously doing it twice a day. And I tell you, it is bringing about an amazing feeling of ease. When the scriptures tell us that Ramari brings about an unparalleled bliss in the minds of the yogis and the hearts of the yogis, they were not wrong. It's an amazing feeling, real amazing feeling. It's, uh, it's just a joy that comes from within. And with that joy, it gives us that opportunity to share. Share our sankalpa together, bringing our hands high up and making our aspirational statement. 
and all our collective power of peace, we overcome COVID-19. With all our collective power of peace, we overcome COVID-19. With all our collective power of peace, we overcome COVID-19. With all our collective power of peace, we overcome COVID-19. With all our collective power of peace, we overcome COVID-19. With all our collective power of peace, we overcome COVID-19. With all our collective power of peace, we overcome COVID-19. With all our collective power of peace, we overcome COVID-19. With all our collective power of peace, we overcome COVID-19. With all our collective power of peace, we overcome COVID-19. With all our collective power of peace, we overcome COVID-19. A beautiful sankalpa being made by so many across the world, in all the continents, in so many countries. And when we come together, and when we make a sankalpa like this together, definitely the universe understands that we humans are wishing for transformation at a higher level. It is very important that we utilize the breakdown as an opportunity for a breakthrough. As a young kid, I remember hearing my father so often say it. A nervous breakdown is an opportunity for a spiritual breakthrough. So often he used to say that. And I think today the breakdown of the whole world is an opportunity for the human race to transform ourselves. Can we stand up and be counted? Can we stand up and say, yes, we are willing to change. We will be the change we want to see in the world. Because that is what yoga is. The power of transformation from the heart is the power of yoga. And that is why it is so, 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 so important that we understand that we need to cheer on those who are trying to be the noble human beings. Those who are trying to do what they are to do. Each and every one. It is amazing the human beings who are standing up to be counted at this point of time. Each and every human being who is coming together and joining in this struggle. Not for existence, but for transformation. It is not about just going back to the old normal where we rape and plunder Mother Earth and treat other human beings as dirt and treat other living beings as second-class citizens. This is a time where we can transform and start respecting Mother Earth, being grateful to Mother Earth and respecting each and every living being, however small or big they may be, understanding that we humans are not the big bosses of this planet. We need to have coexistence with other forms of life. Every human being who is making their effort, fulfilling their swadharma, enabling this moment to be a moment of transformation, let's cheer them on. You know, before I close, I wanted to just make a comment because for the last few weeks, I've been making all these videos. And for those who have been watching and, you know, putting up with me, tolerating me, you know, we talk about tolerance, I think it should be something else. But anyway, one thing which has been a constant factor is Sriman Kakabuchandi, which is our crows. And these crows have been part and parcel of every video that I have been putting out. Because our ashram is on the beach and we are one of the few places where still there are a lot of trees. So all the crows love to come and be in the ashram. And when my father built the ashram, he built it so there's nothing like inside and outside. Everything is interconnected. So for the animals and the birds, there's nothing like, oh, that's inside the ashram, this is outside. So they, they come wherever they want and it creates its own set of problems. And I just want to tell people who say, oh, Dr. Ananda, cannot you find a place where the crows are not disturbing us? See, crows are part and parcel of human existence. 
we want to be in nature but we don't want nature we want just the beaches uh, but we don't want the animal life we want the trees but we don't want the birds see if you want nature nature comes with everything in it it is one big package and we cannot separate it saying only what is comfortable to me will be allowed to be uh, that is what yoga is yoga is in nature which means that you will have the crows cawing their head off and i have to shout above them to be heard you will have the wind sounds because of the being on the beach you will have the dogs barking you will have the mice and the squirrels we have a family of five squirrels running around here and having so much of fun they are part and parcel of this planet and the moment we realize they have as much right to be here as us that is the moment where we start to transform as a human being if we are to transform as a human being we must respect all forms of life without respecting all forms of life this whole covid pandemic is just going to be one small page on history which we will forget if we use it as an opportunity to transform well that is what life expects out of it and i'm so happy that my dear brother in yoga kaustub is online this evening at 7 which is in about 40 35 minutes from now he will be giving a beautiful session on mantra on our yogic self care of site of balaji vidya page facebook page live and looking forward to the power of mantra in this time of crisis and on friday kaustub and i will be having a joint session and watch the the space for that information this is giving us at home a chance to connect with so many worldwide we'll conclude with the shanti mantra at this point in case i haven't told you i love you all oh loka samastam sukino bhavantu sarve janah sukino bhavantu om shanti shanti shanti